Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can join Windows Server Core to an Active Directory domain. So when you install Windows Server Core in your environment, there is no GUI or desktop experience to manage a Windows Server Core. And administrators who switch to Server Core from the desktop experience often face a slight learning curve. So in this video, I will show you how you can join a server core machine to an Active Directory domain using sconfig tool, PowerShell, and command prompt. All right, the first method is sconfig. So I'm going to join a Windows server core to an Active Directory domain using sconfig. So let me log into my server core machine. Server configuration or sconfig is a built-in utility used to configure and manage a Windows Server Core installation. You just saw sconfig starting automatically when I logged into my Windows Server Core. So I've logged into my Server Core using a local administrator account. And when you log into a Server Core, the sconfig utility is automatically launched. If it doesn't launch, on your command prompt or PowerShell, you can type sconfig and press enter and it loads up again. So the sconfig utility provides you various options to manage a server core machine. You can see there are a numeric identifier before each options. To enter a specific setting, just type the numeric value and press enter. For example, if I want to manage the network settings of my server core, I'll simply type 8 and press enter. I'll exit out of this and type sconfig again. Now before joining the server core machine to an active directory domain, you have to make sure that it has the correct host name and a valid TCP IP configuration. So to configure the host name in sconfig, you will select the option 2 and press enter. Now I'm going to type the new computer name. I'll call this as server02 and it says that I have to restart my computer. I'll type Y and press enter. When the computer boots up, I will log in again and the sconfig loads up again. Now this time I need to make sure that my server core has valid TCP IP configuration. So I'm going to select the option 8 and press enter. I only have one network adapter on this server core machine. So I'm going to select the option one and press enter. You can see it has a DHCP IP address. So I'm going to change this to a static IP address. So I'll select the option number one, which is to set the network adapter address and press enter. I will type S for static IP address and press enter. Now I'm going to type the IP address for this server core machine and press enter. I'll type the subnet mask and I'll type the default gateway. Okay, it has successfully set the network adapter address, the gateway and the subnet mask. So I'm going to press enter to continue. I will go back to network settings by typing eight and pressing enter. I'll select my network adapter one. And now this time I'm going to set the DNS server address. So I will select the option two and press enter. I will specify the preferred DNS server. I don't have an alternate DNS server, so I'm going to press enter to keep it blank. Okay, it has successfully assigned the DNS server, so I'm going to press enter to continue. So after configuring the host name and the TCP IP address, now it's time to join this server core machine to the domain. So I'm going to select option one and press enter. So I'm going to join this to domain. So I will type the letter D and press enter. Now it's asking for the name of the domain to join. So in my case, it is contoso.local. It's asking for an authorized domain user. So I'm going to type my domain administrator and the password to join the server core to the domain. All right, there you go. It has successfully joined the server core machine to the domain and it is prompting me to restart the computer. So I'm going to type Y and press enter. Now, if you prefer to change the computer name again, you can type a new computer name. In my case, I'm going to cancel this and simply press enter. 
<laughs> this time I'm going to select other user. So I'm going to log into this computer as a domain administrator. All right, there you go. I just logged in as a domain administrator and the sconfig loads up. Now the second option which I'm going to show you is PowerShell. So I'm going to join this server core machine to an active directory domain using PowerShell. So let me log into my another server core machine. So like I said, by default, it is going to load up the sconfig automatically. So I'm going to select the option number 15 and press enter. So it goes back to PowerShell and you can use the command host name to know what is the host name of the computer. And you can also use get hyphen net IP configuration command to know what is the currently configured IP address on the server. You can see it is using the APIPA IP address and DHCP is enabled. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the computer name by typing the command rename hyphen computer minus new name and I'm going to call this as server 03 and I'll restart this computer. I will log in again. You can see the computer name has changed. So I'm going to go back to PowerShell. Before I assign a static IP address to this server core machine, I need to know what is the interface index or alias by typing the command get net IP interface. Press enter. I only have one network interface which is Ethernet 0. Okay. So the interface index for Ethernet 0 is 5. Next, I'm going to change the IP address of the server core machine by typing the command new net IP address minus interface index 5 minus IP address is 192.168.10.202 and the prefix length is 24 and the default gateway is 192.168.10.254 press enter. The next thing which I'm going to set is the DNS server address by typing the command set hyphen DNS client server address minus interface index 5 minus server address 192.168.10.1. If you have an alternate DNS server address, you can specify that by using the comma. But in my case, I only have one DNS server, which is my domain controller. So I'm going to specify only one DNS server IP address and press enter. All right. Now that you have specified the host name, the IP configuration, including the DNS server, it is time to join this server core machine to domain. So for that, I'm going to type add hyphen computer minus domain name contoso.local minus credential. I'm going to specify my domain administrator credential minus restart minus force and press enter. So I'll type the password of my domain administrator credential and click OK. All right, it is restarting the computer. I'm going to log into the computer again. But this time I'm going to select other user and I'm going to specify my domain administrator credential and press enter. All right, you can see it has joined to the Active Directory domain. All right, now this time I'm going to show you how you can join a server core machine using command prompt. So I'm going to log into my another server core machine. The sconfig loads up automatically. So I'm going to specify the option number 15 and press enter. This time I'm going to type command prompt on the PowerShell window and press enter. So now I'm in command prompt. Let me clear the screen. The first thing you may have to do is change your computer name if required. So let me check my host name. So I'm going to change this computer name by typing the command WMIC computer system where caption equals double quotes percent computer name percent double quotes rename 
double quotes server 03 so I'm changing the computer name to server 03 I'll press enter it says it is successful now I'm going to restart my computer by typing shutdown minus r minus t 0 0 press enter I will log in again the sconfig loads up automatically so I'm going to type the option number 15 press enter go into command prompt by typing cmd press enter now before I set up the TCP IP configuration I need to know the name of the interface so for that I'm going to type net sh int show interface press enter so the interface name is ethernet 0 so now I'm going to set up the IP address, subnet mask and the default gateway for this interface Ethernet 0. So I'm going to use the command net sh int ipv4 set address name equals Ethernet 0 within double quotes. So it's going to be a static IP address and the IP address for this interface is 192.168.10.203 and the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the gateway which is 192.168.10.254 so I'm going to press enter so next I'm going to set the DNS server IP address for that I'm going to type net sh interface ipv4 set DNS server name equals within double quotes I specify the interface name which is Ethernet 0 so it's going to be a static IP assignment for DNS server and the DNS server IP address which is 192.168.10.1 and this is going to be a primary DNS server I'm not going to validate so I'm going to say validate equals no and press enter just in case if you have a secondary DNS server you will type the secondary DNS server IP address and instead of saying primary you'll say index equals 2. I don't have a secondary DNS server so I'm going to skip this by pressing ctrl C. Let me clear the screen. Now I can run the command net dom to join this server core machine to an active directory domain. So the command is net dom join percent computer name percent space slash domain colon contoso dot local slash user d colon I'll specify my domain administrator credentials which is contoso slash administrator and then the password password d colon and the password press enter all right, the command has completed successfully. Next, I'm going to restart the computer by typing shutdown minus R minus T zero zero and press enter. Now I'm going to log in as a domain administrator. So I'm going to select other user. I will type my domain administrator credential and press enter. All right there you go so the server core machine has joined to the domain which is contoso.local okay so these are the three methods that you can use to join a server core machine to an active directory domain i hope you like this video for more videos like these please subscribe to my channel